feel very fortunate to live in a city with a fire department that is second to none. As an emergency medicine physician, I take comfort knowing that if I call the fire department because my family members or I need help, they'll be there in a few minutes with the latest technique, the most up-to-date equipment, uh, and the same equipment that I use in the emergency department on a regular basis. In August of this year, Coral Gables paramedics introduced a life-saving technique that induces hypothermia, slowing down the metabolism, and minimizing the damage on patients with cardiac arrest. Coral Gables is also the first city in the United States to create a network of coordinated response for heart attack patients. This STEMI network allows first responders to fast-track patients to ready hospitals in a model of efficiency so incredible that it is changing the emergency response industry. Because of its progressive thinking, Duke University selected the city of Coral Gables to conduct a study with the Coral Gables Fire Department to test the efficiency of sending patient information directly to hospitals using new phone technology. Saving lives involves everyone's commitment, and that is why the city of Coral Gables passed a comprehensive automatic external defibrillator program for their installation in public and private buildings. The quality of life can be measured by how secure an individual feels in his environment. Here in Coral Gables, we have a police force that will respond to an emergency in less than two minutes. That makes me feel very secure. To improve the effectiveness of police patrolling, the police department created a specialized enforcement division using the many resources to actively engage in addressing the changing landscape of the business districts and the multiple arteries. The 911 police communication section, which handles all emergency calls, upgraded its technology and completed a reconfiguration of the physical floor plan to improve the delivery of services. Working with the University of Miami campus, the police department hosted a training scenario addressing shooter situations in an open university and incorporating the teamwork of local, state, and federal response resources. The arts in Coral Gables are a very important part of this beautiful city. We have many art projects, including grants for cultural institutions and programs. We have sculpture in the parks. We have an art cinema that we're going to be building very shortly. We have wonderful theaters and music and everything that anybody should want for a cultural experience in a great city. A new law was passed integrating public art into new private and public development in the city. A percentage of the cost of future construction will be used to provide for the display of highly visible historic art at no charge to the public. Exchanging art with other cities across the world was the reason behind the unveiling of La Granada Sculpture, a pomegranate which was a gift to Coral Gables from its sister city of Granada, Spain, and a token of long-lasting international friendship. Exciting plans for a future art cinema were confirmed with the plan approval for a multi-purpose auditorium on the bottom floor of the museum garage. This new venue will offer film screenings, film festivals, lectures, book readings, and other cultural enriching events. Uh, years ago, I started with the Senior Board of Carl Gables, and at that time we had no programs for seniors at all. I think nobody believed that we had seniors in Carl Gables. But since then, in the past few years, we have started programming for seniors. We now have luncheons, and we have all sorts of programs, uh, go theater programs, and now we've just started computer classes. And believe it or not, they have been over-registered. We are now starting a second class, and it just shows what the needs have been and what we're doing, the Gables, and we're delighted to be able to do that. Thanks to new programming and increased outreach, senior program participation has increased tremendously from 54 participants in 2007 to 579 participants in 2008. A senior housing center and assisted living facility is becoming a reality in Coral Gables. A public and private partnership with the Palace Group will offer luxury living for seniors with exceptional amenities. 
Not surprisingly, our city was picked by NBC's Today Show as one of the best places to retire in the USA. Coral Gables has been able to borrow design and architecture from the Mediterranean and apply it to our homes, our streets, our buildings, which has truly made us the envy of others. From an economic perspective point of view, it makes significant sense in investing in the city of Coral Gables, continuing to improve our quality of life, our amenities, our physical infrastructure, continuing to have the best fire and police protection among all municipalities of Dade County. All of this improves our property values on a long-term basis. Welcome to Coral Gables, where style and substance meet. I've lived here since I was five years old, and when it was time for my husband and I to purchase our first home, I wouldn't want to live anywhere else in Miami. I love the historic nature of the city, how it's kept up with the times, and all the wonderful city services. As I get older, I really appreciate living in the city of Coral Gables. Coral Gables is my city.